Boatworks Today is a viewer-supported show. To learn more on how you can get involved and watch extended ad-free versions of these videos, please visit our website, boatworkstoday.com, and click on the top of the heading where it says support this show. Thank you. So picking up where we left off on the last video, if you recall, I had gone through and laid down a, a layer of chop strand matting over this entire top of this cabin. And then I top coated that with some waxed gel coat for, for a few reasons, which I, which I explained. But I used the gel coat with the wax to essentially cure the fiberglass beneath it. My other alternative would have been to use a, uh, a polyester resin that already had the wax in it, but it wouldn't have filled in any of the low spots in the fiberglass or any of the texture. So the, it's one of my little tricks that I've always done, you know, for, for many years and it works really well is I go over top of the fiberglass with gel coat and that just kind of helps to kind of find a happy medium between uh, having to sand too much of the fiberglass off, but yet it's still a providing a way to actually cure all of the material so that it sands nice without, you know, gumming up my sandpaper. Now, in case you're wondering what the heck it is that I'm doing here, now even though I, I used gel coat to fill in the low spots, it still didn't completely fill this in. So when I was going over with the sander, there are still some low spots in here. And I'm using this scotch Bright pad to basically get down in all the, the I guess, the, the little dimples and dull out the finish. You know, until then, it was a high gloss finish from the from the gel coat. But by using the scotch Bright pad, it's able to get in on the in those little dips and basically take that gloss off, etch it uh, a little bit to get ready for the next coat or to get ready for the next step, which is going to be actually fairing this top. I think it was two videos ago that I was talking about Jamestown Distributors uh, fairing compound. I think they call it their total fair. And I made the comment that, you know, overall, I think it's a very, very good uh, fairing compound, but in certain applications, it's a little thicker than what I'd like. Well, this is an example of one of those situations where I, you know, it would have been a little bit uh, thick for my taste. Uh, here I'm using West System and I've mixed it up with their 410 filler. Now, if you notice, I, I left it a little bit on the wet side. It's, I would say this is, you know, more along the lines of, say, ketchup consist consistency. And the reason I, I'm leaving it a little loose like this is so that, as you, if you see as I'm making my strokes, it, it, it flows out. It smooths out on its own, and it's able to actually flow into the low spot so that I, I'm guaranteed that I'm not going to have any voids at all uh, beneath this layer. So... The, the, the Total Fair is a great compound. I use it quite a bit uh, you know, throughout this project. I think you'll see it a little bit later on in this video. But for this type of application, I really prefer uh, you know, a little bit looser of a mix. And because it's able to flow out on its own, it's actually going to save me quite a bit of sanding because I'm not going to have any, any ridges or overlap marks uh, from trying to smooth this out. I basically make my, uh, my smoothing strokes and any overlap, it just kind of smooths out all on its own. The deal with fairing is that all this material that you lay up has to get knocked back down. So going forward, there is going to be a lot of sanding and it's all gonna be done by hand. Uh, once I get to this point, I don't use sanders or you know anything, uh, any kind of a power sander at all, just because you don't have the finesse, you don't have the control. So going forward, it's all gonna be done by hand. Really using anything at your disposal to match the shape or the contour or whatever it is that you're working on. Now, when I laid the glass on this cabin top, I also wrapped the glass up and around all of these hatch openings. So here I'm using the total boat, total fare for establishing a new radius around the perimeter of these openings. And this is just as easy as using a, I think here I'm just using a tongue depressor just to set that nice, whatever radius it may be, three eighths inch, give or take, radius all the way around. So it'll be a nice consistent look all the way around all of the hatches.
Teddy Bears, a boy to play the Jackson.